Welcome back, Dr. Mel here. And in this SRI video series, we're going to be talking about stage five, which is all about merging with our illusions. Now at this point, as we've moved into stage four, we're accessing that season of transform. So the energy we're embodying is, I'm done with old ways of being, doing, acting, and believing. I'm ready for something different, enough, is enough. I'm done playing small. I'm done giving up my power. And we're starting to build that chi and that momentum to take new action in our life. Now at this point, we might not know what that action is, but we know that we need energy to start taking more aligned action into the future. So in stage five, what we're really going to be doing is connecting with the illusions that were created as we created this separation of consciousness, a separation of our true self, whether it's something that happened in the past, what we're connecting with is that consciousness behind the suffering. Not that we need to re-experience the suffering itself, but rather connecting with the consciousness, the energy and the emotion behind it. Really, when that separation was created, when something happened to us, what's the energy that happened there? And how do we connect with that and the illusions that we put in the way of actually connecting to it? Now, in this stage, when we merge with our illusion of really our true self and discovering our true self, it's not only our dark self, but also our light self. Sometimes it can be scary, right, to confront that shadow self of us, the darkness part of us. It can also be just as terrifying for some people to connect with the lightness, the bigness, and be responsible for that. Now, there's no right or wrong, but those are elements of ourselves that we're connecting with. Something to really point out here is it's similar to when you revisit an old neighborhood that you don't live in anymore. You come to the neighborhood, you maybe get some memories, but you don't live there anymore. You get to be the observer rather than the victim. You get to be the observer in this stage of old patterns, old beliefs, and merge beyond that and just experience it rather than being a victim that's fragmented. What's really important in this stage too is as we're building that chi and momentum and feeling that power within our whole being, we're not seeing things as fragmented anymore, but rather we're taking a step out and being the observer of the fragmented parts. We are the whole observer that just gets to see the parts of ourselves, but yet we feel this sense of wholeness from it within. So it's definitely more of an integrated experience rather than a stage two of polarities, different parts, different rhythms. We actually have integrated whole, feeling that powerful sense of self and being the observer and witnessing of the fragmented pieces. Now something I really wanna point out here before you do this exercise in the season of Transform, specifically, the, specifically with stage five, is it's really important to have built the flexibility and the adaptability from previous stages so you can actually merge with that illusion. By no means do we wanna be merging with these illusions, these old parts of ourselves and our new sense of self, our shadow self, our light self. We do not wanna be merging with that if we haven't built up the resiliency, the flexibility and the adaptability to actually confront it in a way that's empowering and not victimizing. So make sure that you're practicing stage one, two, three, and four. In stage four, we're building that momentum for this stage. So let's get to it. In this one, you're gonna start on your back and your breathing is gonna be in through the mouth, out through the mouth, okay? So what we're really doing before I begin is starting to integrate different parts of ourselves as one whole synchronizing unit, specifically with our lower body and our hips and our upper body and our hands and our shoulders. So it's almost like you're a little dead bug or a ladybug that's on its shell and you can't get up, but it's kind of fun. You get to merge and move in a different way than we have in previous stages. So you're going to lay on your back and you're going to bring your knees up to 90 degrees so you can start to feel and sway and feel that flexibility in your hips and again you want to be flexible right if you're noticing still a lot of tension you might still have some normal tension but if you're noticing you can't get that full body sway come back to maybe stage one stage two and connect with these areas of your body okay so we're not going to be using positions rather, but we're going to be using more of a whole body because again, we're viewing things from a holistic perspective now. So you're going to bring your knees up, knees above your hips, and then you're going to take your arms and you want your hands just above the crown of your head. 
and you're gonna find this point, almost like you're pushing up towards those illusions, towards those things. And you're gonna feel kind of where your hands just wanna stop. For me, it's right here, so I'm gonna bring them. And just test that, where's that plane of glass and that energy where all of a sudden this rhythm of your lower body and your upper body starts to kick in. So as you connect to that, you're gonna breathe in through your mouth, out through your mouth. And you're gonna to start to kind of create this like swirling energy because we're building that momentum to merge those illusions, those stories that we've told ourselves of why we can't experience you know, the love and the lightness or maybe experience fully some of the sadness or the grief. We get to be the observer of that and just connect with that from a more empowering standpoint. So in my body, it looks like this. And again, as I'm doing this, eventually the rhythm, if you're in the right stage, which you might not be in stage five, but the rhythm should kick in in about 30 seconds. And it's very energizing in the hips and the shoulders. So be with it. Try a different direction. It's almost like you're blowing on this plane of glass and merging those illusions away, taking that veil away and confronting that lightness within us, confronting that darkness that we wanted to connect with for so long. my light self. Please help me connect with my dark self. Please help me merge with peace with my illusions. Please help me merge with my illusions. Feel more whole If you're truly in stage five, you're going to feel this sense of peace kind of overcome your whole body. And you're going to feel this sense of breakthrough as you move closer to that light sense of self or dark self. Like that plane of glass is becoming more narrow. It's not as thick. We can see the true energy that we were meant to experience from the separations that we made when we were maybe traumatized or something happened to us. The energy behind the suffering, connecting with that and really feeling it from a whole bigger observer perspective. Now again, a couple things to note is when you're doing this, there should be a sense of excitement, almost as though you're building that momentum going up a roller coaster ride, or for those of us who watch scary movies, it's the energy that you're building. You know that something's coming, you know that merging is coming, but you're not afraid of it. You're almost anticipating it, you're excited about it, right? So it's a different consciousness than a suffering. You're more excited for that breakthrough as you move up that roller coaster ride, that's that stage four, building the energy, building the energy, and then as we get to that stage five, we see the illusion that's been there the whole time and shoo, the rhythm takes over. And we get to move through the twists and turns of really the energy that was there, but we experience it from more of an exciting perspective. It's almost like, oh, I know something's coming, Ugh, and I'm excited. So again, really important to have a more flexible, sound nervous system so you can experience that energy from a place of empowerment rather than going back to suffering, feeling victimized and fragmented. So thank you for tuning in my friends. Again, this is stage five of the season of Transform. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe below so you can get all the recent updates on our SRI 12 Stages of Healing series. And I'll see you in the next video.